what a chirp of my peeps. Call me peeps back here. We're gonna get a move on right away because the last episode may not have been the most exciting. I apologize about that. But if you don't know, we ended up catching a very, I guess, semi rare Pokemon tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I did. It. And it was very interesting. And I'm sure people who've been looking for it might be very mad. No, cleaning is not like a game. I don't need to explore this building again, okay? Not interested in exploring this building again. Well, looky here. As I just say, it's been a while since we've seen... Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Go, Nebby. You, you splash. Pew. <laughs> I was just acting like Mr. Four. You always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. <laughs> so I never really liked Pokemon trainers or thought that I would want to be one myself. But when I see Mr. Four and how, it looks its like they've thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. <laughs> they stride straight through it into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. He's like, oh, you better shut your mouth, girl. He right behind you. You better not let him know he getting you wet. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Four. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. Yeah, it has. There's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor <laughs> is waiting to meet you. How... How are your trials? I must be quite trying to do three in a row. Oh, it was no problem, girl. You know me. You know me. We like Team Skull. We flex! Mm. Goodness, really? It wasn't any trouble for you to tackle all three of Akala Island's trials. I suppose that explains it. <laughs> the reason you look so content and understood by Marini there, I mean. Oh, she talking about our Marini. That reminds me. There is another person I want to go add to the squad, actually. Should have done this last time. And I should have done it when we added Marini. I should have sent Marini to the box. I don't know who we're going to get rid of. I plan on getting rid of the Trumbeak for this thing. Oh, boy. Because I really want this thing on the squad, at least temporarily. At the very, very least, temporarily. Um, Where is it? Over here. I want this thing on the squad. So let me see here. Trying to ch level both of these up is going to be a pain, but having the electric type helped, but that's for flying. We're going to have rock for flying. Water, we're adding a grass type, so water won't be a problem. Bug, that'd be for rock, because we don't have any fighting moves. Or we don't have any, yeah, we don't have any fighting moves. So maybe fairy type. Well, no, we have poison, so fairies wouldn't. Or I'm not even talking about fairies. So dark. Oh, that is quite the move set. Docile, nice and neutral nature. Uh, I think that for right now, what level does Grimer evolve? Let's find this out. As much as I like using Grimer, okay, Google, Elolan Grimer. As much as I like Grimer, let's find out when he evolves. If it's not for a lot of levels, or if it's one of these special evolutions, I'm not gonna really... It's it's definitely between these two. I wanna keep Rockruff. Rockruff is literally one level away from evolving. Especially at nighttime, he'll probably evolve today during this session. Okay, so when... How does it evolve is my question. I don't care about its evolution, I wanna know how it evolves. I want to know how! Uh, okay, don't care about that. Yo, what is this? Is that what Bond Suite evolves into? My dude! The thing Bond Suite evolves into. Oh, that's the that's the new low pony people are saying. Oh, I might have to put that on the team. No, I want the I want the Flamantis. I want Flamantis. 
And again, I don't know if any of those are going to make the final team. How does it evolve? To be determined? Nobody knows? What? So does nobody know? Okay, Google. I think I did too quick. Okay, Google. How to evolve a Lolan uh, Grimer. I was about to say... What? How do you... How do you evolve it? Alright, supposedly, there is absolutely no way to evolve it. I mean, it says do be determined. So why don't you give us that quick claw? Alolan Grimers have been here since the beginning, but from what I've been seeing, a lot of, like, every LP here has been using him. So we'll throw him on the bench for now. He might make a return, but... For sure, I want to add this Fomantis. Remove Alolan Grimer and add flow. Not flow, foe. Mantis. Okay. Alright, now we can get a move on again. Although we need to give him an item. I just don't know what we're gonna give him. Or her, rather. Alright, I keep wasting too much episode time. I apologize. I meant to do this last time. I just forgot. Uh, so let's see. Why do I feel like this thing would evolve by... It, it'll probably get Giga Drain and stuff soon enough. Uh, I feel like for now, we don't really have anything to give it. Alright, we don't have anything to give it, so for now, why don't you just become more friendly? I feel like it might be a friendly evolution at some point. I doubt it, but you never know. Plus, who, who doesn't want a more friendly Pokemon? It doesn't do much for us in terms of battle, because I don't think we're going to teach it return since it's not a stab, but you never know. You never know. And I... Oh, wait, wait... Look at that! I don't think we were able to explore up here last time, and that's why. Either that or I somehow missed it? But I don't think I missed it. I just don't- I think this was blocked off overall. No, because this lady let us in here. Yeah, she let us in here. Reminds me of something- Use rain to teleport itself through space? Oh, he's talking about, uh... What? I feel like- I was gonna say, I feel like someone's just gonna walk out of this elevator like Professor Kukui. That's, a uh, Hoopa. That guy's talking about Hoopa. Hoopa! Hoopla! Huh. Hey there, honey. Why they got so many females? My arsenal of voices has run out 20 episodes ago. Oh, hi, darling. I don't know. This here's Professor Burnett. She runs a Dimensional Research Lab. <laughs> yeah, and she's also... She's my wife? What? Kukui is married? Is this the first professor that's been married? And she's also my wife. Mmm, darling, you're Mr. Four, right? Lily told me all about you. She said you were the reliable sort. Mmm. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag, also unconscious. <laughs> no how today. Huh, how? He's out doing his own thing, baby. But he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a kahuna, just like old Hala before him. Ah, oh, man, you really think so, brother? Uh, whoa. Well, yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, how, darling. It's been a while since I last saw you, darling. <laughs> anyway. Anyhow, I brought Mr. Four here because I wanted to tell you about some of the mysterious phenomena here in Alola. Oh, I'd be happy to, darling. The mysteries of Alola, huh? <laughs> then you've got to mean the Ultra Wormhole. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens up in the sky over Alola. It's the rifts that this rift appear- It's appear- Oh my gosh, I cannot read! It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension, darling. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. It's very weak as proof, but darling, I just can't ignore it. There is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right darling? There are some Pokemon, brother. Even normal Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon <laughs> that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole weren't, went way beyond that, darling. 
and they were called Ultra Beasts, and they were feared, darling. If the stories are to be believed, the guardian deities of the islands, islands fought desperately against them, darling. But, like I said, it's all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know how much is true, darling. But I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances, darling. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon in different dimensions in books. You can find them on the bookshelf in this lab, darling. So this is our first mention in-game of Ultra Beast. What, does the professor think we've got better to, a thing better to do than read folk tales? <laughs> you want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I'd wanted to learn more about Nebby. <laughs> I mean, Cosmo. So I decided to come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering off out until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story. <laughs> Staying up all night to hear it, and then she even got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend me his stay to Lofton. His stay to Lofton? Bruh! And she told me about him to help investigate Nebby's origins, too. Professor Burnett has always been so kind. <laughs> Is Burnett? Okay. Is their first name Burnett and Kukui? Because if not, she would technically also be Professor Kukui, because they're married. And she's still helping me find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She's been like. Like a real mother to me. Is that all you got? She's been like a real mother. Yo, I like Cosmog's cry. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, any of you dorks have anything to say? Called the zone. Giratina. This Pokemon is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours where common knowledge is distorted and strange. Bronze. What? It brought rains by opening portals to another world. It was revered as a bringer of plentiful harvest. We're gonna go from Giratina to Bronzong? What? Is that it? Giratina and Bronzong? Oh, Palkia. Its total control over the boundaries of space enabled it to transport itself to faraway places or even other dimensions. There was a man named Moan who years ago published a theory about the... Isn't that the hut leader? Poke Pelago? I think so. You can register the same Pokemon to more than one battle team at a time. That's why battle teams are the best. I'm off to check Diglett's tunnel next. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon. Uh, okay, you're going to say the same thing. I'm looking at your bookshelf, so. Professor Brunette and Professor Koopi is a couple. Ah, Do we ship them? You don't really have a choice. Yo, what book are you trying to read, Slowpoke? I'll grab it for you. What book are you trying to read, my boy? Okay, is that it? They're really gonna have Palkia and Giratina, but not Diaga? Let me read these bookshelves, you dorks. Shut up. Really? How are you gonna do Palkia and Diaga? Or, how are you gonna do Palkia and Giratina, but not Diaga? And then you're gonna do Bronzong, like what? Didn't I talk to you? Yeah, I talked to you. I said you're off to check the tunnel, which is what we are off to do. Alright, Professor. <laughs> How about that, Mr. Four? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, what are kind of moves they can use? Yeah, of course you do. You finish all three of Akala's trials. Woo! And now comes a big match against Olivia, the island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all here on Akala, the Grand Trial. <laughs> Good luck, darling. Olivia's house is past Diglett Tunnel. It's in Kony Kony City. But watch out for Team Skull, darling. Yo, I want Team Skull to show up, girl! Don't tell me how to live my life! I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. Ah, oh, I'm off to check out the cave. Gosh, dang it, I can't speak. I'm off to check out Diglett's tunnel next, brother. It's an old cave made by Pokemon, right, brother? Yeah. Diglett's tunnel, what a lunky bunch. This is, I want to have a place named after me, too. You got a whole Pokédex named after you, my dude. What other Pokémon gets to slide inside a Pokédex, huh? It's actually a good question. Why does Rotom get to talk? I mean, I know, like, can Rotom just naturally talk? Like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. I don't want to think about it. Oh, who are we about to see? I want you to know, I thought our hat was a dimensional drift rift. But this is the real... Look at that. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. Hey, Mr. Four, brother. So you made it through all three Captain tri Trials. Yeah, brother. Then you should go... I can't do a Jamaican... I want to give him like a Jamaican voice, but I can't. 
then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past Diglett's Tunnel, brother. Diglett's Tunnel is, let's see, from here it's kinda near the Pokemon Center, brother. It's easy to walk right past it, though, so keep your eyes peeled. Now it's Malasada time for me, brother. Of course it is, you fat peelers. You know, the fact that they give you the flag, I don't know why they're so insistent on telling you exactly where to go every time. I mean, they give you the objective. So it's like, I don't need to know every single time. I just want to talk to the hoe. I'm sorry. The mega hoe. Because she's the Kahuna Island. The Kuna hoe. The Kuna hoe. Oh, gosh. We're not going to be able to escape. Oh, no. Fergie. Well, I thought Fergie was level 13. Come on, Fergie. Come on, Fergie. Even this thing looks like a Kesha so hard. No, stop. If we don't run this time, we have to swap. No, don't bite me. Fergie! You're good. You're good, Fergie. No, you can't fight. There's nothing you can do. Uh, I guess let's just go... Let's just hit this thing with a... I mean, it's rock... It's, it's, I gotta find the sun. Is poison weak against rock? I feel like it is, but I feel like it's not. Oh, I like to Uh, you wanna catch this rock tomb, my dude? It's too- it'll kill no matter what. At least it should. It's super effective, stab, goodbye. I feel like it's two times effective, but I don't know for sure. Because poison's weak against ground, but I don't know if it's also weak against rock. What do you got to say? So, how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. I forgot what voice we gave her. Oh, look at you, Mr. Four. Nice work. I've seen you even past my last trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. Ooh. The Diglett have settled down, too. If you are here as strong as you are, you should be able to make it through this cave. The other end of it, you'll find Kony Kony Seed. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. My dude? If we get through the tunnel, we'll just be steps away from Kony... Kony City. You see... Beat all the trainers. Okay. It's another one of these dudes. Escape rope. Look at that. All right, Diglett Tunnel. X attack. Look at that. So that guy. So he's probably gonna be fighting. Apparently, also those two trainers we fought were supposed to use Z moves. I mean, the one did use the psychic, the second one, but the first one was supposed to use a fi flying Z move. We just bodied him too quickly before he could use one. So, how about that? All right. I should have bought some repels. Because actually, didn't I buy some super repels? Although Marina is not gonna be able to be out front. Oh, we actually got away, Fergie. Fergie, thank you! Oh, we got a fire stone. So it's a fire stone and a water stone. And we got an ice stone from Alex. Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? Pew! With the Libyan charge, we finally managed to make some headway against these Diglett. Oh, Walola! Well, One member of the Aether Foundation, we worked up. Support Pokemon conservation. Looks like Team Skull is responsible for the Diglett in this game being so riled up and bringing them all up to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is the group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We had to ensure that they return to the tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the Diglett are still stuck on near the surface, though, so be careful. Alright, I feel like this is the way I'm supposed to be going. Which means, you already know, we're gonna turn around. You already know we're going to turn around, and I don't suppose there's going to be anything new in this cave, so I'm just going to spray a repel. I just want to make it through this cave and try and get through all the trainers at the very least. I don't know if we'll be able to, but I didn't buy super repels. Gosh dang it. I need to farm money. That's what I need to do, so that we can just stock up on super repels and medication. Oh, are you serious? Alright. A trainer. Ooh. It's a trainer. Alright, now we can prepare for this. Gosh dang it. Look at that though. At least I'm finally starting to learn how this system works. That you have to press Y. Alright, buddy, you wanna fight me? Pokemon are incredible? Yeah, they're incredible. Pokemon weren't incredible. We wouldn't have seven generations of games, my dude. 
Okay. Way to be original. You're gonna send out an Alolan Diglett. Alright. If my Marini wasn't so weak, I could body you right now. You know, I bet you Lily could come body this thing. Although, probably, maybe not, actually. Uh, this might have been a mistake. Sucker Punch? Get out of here! Now, what attacks that is higher? I'm going to assume... Gosh dang it, we're not super effective because of his Steel Typing. I'm dumb. I forgot about that. Physical 40. Well, they're both physical, don't even matter. Mud Slap? Are you going to lower my accuracy? Oh my gosh! Whew, look at that! As long as we don't get crit again. I should have gone for Ingrid. Stop this! Yeah, the only problem is another sucker punch is gonna do his thing. I would prefer not to heal, but I don't think we're gonna have a choice. Bulldoze? We're gonna lower our speed now? No, you can live. Oh, okay. We don't have a choice now. Now we're gonna have to heal. Now we're going to have to heal. Yeah, that did not do nearly as much as I thought. How does Super Potion? I gotta buy more Super Potions, gosh dang it. Do I have. I do have a spare one in me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need to I need to stock up on some money here and buy some repels and medication. And all right, he he went for sucker punch. He got greedy, so now we're good. As long as we don't miss, we are at minus two. Just don't miss. Just whatever you do, don't miss. Thank you. Get out of here, Diglett. We use the growth and everything. Hey, hey! Oh, that money, though. All right. This is gonna get kind of annoying, but it must be done. It, that that's better than fighting all these Pokemon. Yes. We got a Dusk Ball. That's good for caves. How ironic that they would give that to us here. Uh, that would have taken us here anyways. Gosh dang it. It's okay. Hopefully this cave isn't that big. I'd like to explore on this one episode, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Because we use so much time at the Dimensional Research Lab. Especially, look at that. There's already another ledge to jump off of. Alright then. Hyper Potion. Now I'm assuming if we keep going right, we'll be fine. And this is just like a side path. Oh, you diglet. Just leave me be diglet. That is a strength boulder. And Marini, Fergie, back up front with you so we can switch train you. The only problem about adding new mods to the team is that they're so low a level. If we just once we get up to where we're starting to get under leveled, we can just throw on the XP share and it'll help them out a little bit. But till that point, Rog and Rolla. Now, a rock and roll it doesn't scare me too much, but I'm not staying in because we're probably five levels below it. S try eight levels below it. All right, let's go. Where do we even go? Until Fergie's a high enough level, we have we now have nothing for rock types. What do you got? You got rock tomb bite. I mean, you can bite it. Yeah, let's go Fen rear. Although I probably could have gone. Probably could have gone Lily again. Because I don't know though. That headbutt might have might have done some damage to Lily. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, that did nothing. Okay, I don't care about your speed. If you want to raise your speed, go ahead. I will gladly take your defense down for speed. Like I said, my dude, I will gladly take your defense down for speed. At least now we can get a 4 code. Rock Blast, stop it. Wait, why is that neutral? Rock doesn't resist rock? Fenrir, no! How does rock not resist rock? What the heck? That's the only reason I sent you in. Oh my gosh.
goodness! This is ridiculous. I definitely need to stock up on some money. Maybe in between episodes here, I'll do it. Oh my gosh, why are you critting me so much? Stop! And now it's speedier than us, which means I'm gonna I'm gonna be basically forced to heal unless he only hits twice. Ugh. And we lowered his physical defense. We have to go for crunch. Okay, he went for a headbutt. He's dumb. We can live a headbutt. Yeah, you're dumb, my boy. Why are you so dumb? Goodbye. Goodness, that thing was tougher than it needed to be. Yeah, level up, Fergie. I need you to level up. Mudbray. And here's another thing we're going to have problems with. What am I supposed to do against a Mudbray? Because I... I was going to say, we could try staying in with this thing for once, but... It's also super effective on us, so we can't. I guess Lily's our only option. They're both super effective, so maybe maybe Lily can just take this thing out real nice and quick. Just don't hurt me. Stomp? That might hurt me. <gasps> Lily, no! I need Lily to evolve. Ugh! Adding these two weak mons really gave us a weakness to ground and rock. No, what am I? This is four times weak. I'm gonna say Lazolfo should be fine, but this is four times weak. And I obviously want the weaker Mon to grab. Gosh dang it. And now this is wasting all our XP time. XP time. Alright, he went for Stomp like a dummy. If, you go, if, you, if I get lucky and he goes for another Stomp, we can 2 co with this Dragon Rage. I don't care about stamina, that doesn't affect me. Oh! Oh, those is weak! Those are that, that dropped way too quickly. That dropped way too quickly. Alright, now, can Lily outspeed a Mudbray? I feel like the answer is yes. Come on, Lily. You can outspeed a Mudbray. I know you can. I know you can. I don't think we can. Uh, I shouldn't have even tried it! Fudge! Put myself in bad situations here. Alright, I'm going to have to sack off Sperry. I'm going to have to sack off Sperry. No, don't throw a Pokeball. Don't waste our turn on this. Because like I said, I need... A little bit. Double kick? Really? You couldn't... I don't know. Maybe Sperry outspeeds. Maybe that's fine. I just don't know what I can do. Bug Bite is stab and boosted. Goodbye. Please. Oh my gosh. Please just do something like double kick. Bulldoze. Ugh, this is so frustrating. Okay, Fender. You can outspeed this thing, right? Right? I know you can. I know you can, little puppy. Come on. Don't disappoint me. Thank you. That crit might have mattered. Oh my gosh. And no one even gained a level. There's a hole I'd want to crawl in it right now. You know what, buddy? You go do that. You go crawl in that hole. Okay. I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back, uh, I will have a bunch of... I will hopefully have at least some items. I'm going to go try and at least farm some money. I'm going to go try and farm some money. So... We'll see how that works, but I will go ahead and see you guys in the next episode. When we come back, our team will be healed. I'll go to a Poke Center. We'll hopefully come back either with money or with a bunch of items. We're going to have a bunch of items. We might have money and items. I don't know, but I don't know why I'm spam saving. I just something to do while we talk. I will go ahead and see you guys in the next episode, and I know late recent episodes have been kind of long. I hope we can tone that back a little bit, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!